This day we're going to have another look at remote functions. Today I'm going to show you remote re-render functions. They work like regular queries, but they are executed at build time instead of at runtime. To declare them, you import pre-render from $app/server inside a .remote.ts file, declare the function you want to pre-render, and then just access the result in a file. That's it. Now, when the build runs, the function is executed and its result is saved to disk. That means in production, your server will just serve a static file instead of doing an expensive request. This allows you to pre-render on a data loader level, not just the page level, which is very powerful because you can have both static and dynamic data on the same page. In this dashboard, for example, the list with its comments is served dynamically, but the stats above only change once per deployment and so they can be pre-rendered. This is just one more of many reasons why we're so excited about remote functions and the flexibility and granularity and power they give you.